Hello all and welcome to see Amtech T700 Ultra Mobile PC running Windows Vista RC1 built 5600 I'm already on the desktop uh, I don't keep you waiting on the on the startup because it takes well maybe two minutes to start to the desktop it's kind of kind of slow thing this uh, unit has only 512 megs of RAM so it is in some places slow slower than than the one gig version it has a one gigahertz processor which seems to be enough for calculating uh, but only uh, 64 megs of graphics memory which uh, which is not uh, that much. Okay, I will go through uh, through the uh, desktop and some applications for you to see how how stuff looks and works. Uh, then I will will give a quick look on the on the UMPC usage uh, overall, and then then to this uh, device specific things. Uh, so let's start start by looking at the uh, programs. We have uh, all, all the same softwares that uh, Vista, Vista uh, comes with the uh, normal PCs but we have also Sticky Notes and Windows Journal which are both uh, uh, tablet uh, PC or, or touchscreen PC uh, softwares taking notes primarily. Then uh, what we have of course is the on-screen keyboard and handwriting recognition software which I found working really nicely let's uh, try something small on the notepad so you will see so let's do some typing uh, as you may notice my typing angle is not perfect right now so so the <laughs> letters are not that good looking but still it it uh, recognized everything fine really no mistakes every every time i've uh, i've uh, done anything even close it's it's working really nicely it's 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 maybe i would say like five times better than than it used to be so it's really good it's really good and you might notice also the, the tip looks a little bit different the keyboard is uh, looking a little bit different we're missing some buttons over here but I don't really miss them it's, uh, I like the way it is the, I like the looks and I like the functions on that so that's how the tip looks now and that's how the floating little tip looks so always when there is a text field we can, uh, we can uh, open the on screen keyboard like this or we can open it by tapping on the on the icon on the on the taskbar or we can make it slide away and then open it from the side of the screen but I, I don't use that now so the tip looks like that and uh, some of you have already seen the Internet Explorer 7 which looks like this with tablet browsing it's it's nice to use and it, it really really uh, have some nice new features and of course the new look uh, and again we can easily input input uh, uh, website addresses with the with the keyboard or, or by hand and we have a uh, uh, this uh, like www dot is already there we can also have uh, symbols there we can have numbers there so this is really nice thing thing on the handwriting recognition but let's go to Google as you can see my writing really isn't that pretty and still it's it's working fine let's stop and enter on the back so yeah works fine other uh, related and a new things on the on the touchscreen devices is actually the thing called uh, penflix 
I will enable it then now and you see the chip on the pinflex. Now we have pinflex on and that means that I can I can uh, do gestures on the screen to make something happen. So like now I want to browse down. I just uh, click on the screen and it goes down and then up. It goes up. Then let's go there and I want to go back. I just do this and go back and then forward. It works nicely. And again up and down. Works fine. Okay. This is how it looks. Then uh, on the on, on this special sp uh, this device which only have uh, the uh, 64 megs of of uh, graphics power. Uh, I would say that uh, normal surfing goes fine, hand -right recognition goes fine, stuff like this is okay, but the, the media, uh, and especially on video, experience is not that fine. So, let's, uh, let's open some, some video, I think, uh, let's play something I just played, so you will see what I mean everything on, on the video front takes takes quite time okay here is a video running and it is not running really smoothly so some performance issues issues there uh, then we have a because this is a Vista uh, ultimate we have of course the media center there so let's open it it normally opens uh, on full screen but I've decided to use it uh, uh, on, on the smaller screen because uh, I found it perform better and also I want to see the taskbar when I'm doing stuff. So, as you may notice, it takes time to work. It's working, but it needs power. As you can see, I'm trying to go through stuff and it, it, it's still doing something. You can see the hard drive lights really, really going and going and going. It's, it really needs and loves power. So maybe, maybe not uh, with uh, this little graphics but you can use it if you like it now no, it works better and of course we can use it by by uh, stylus or or finger and that's how it works so let's go to pictures and videos and uh, video library you can see what I mean on the slow business I wouldn't like to wait this much for, for just to see some something nicer so I would definitely use normal normal uh, explorer to to browse my videos or, or whatever but yeah, you can use it. I'm not a, a waiting kind of person, so I wouldn't wait. Okay. That was, let's take it down. 